Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Northern Celtic podcast with some Sunday league action today. Today is our first league game of the season up against Margaret Catchpole Reserves, again, who we just played in the cup and got through into the second round. So this will be a tough test for our first game of the league season. So let's see who is in the starting lineup, who's on the bench, and let's get into the game. We are running a 3-5-2 with Jordan in between the sticks as well as Beattie, Mossy and Connor in the back three. The two wing backs of Callum Wadey and Aaron Jennings, Kelvin, Kev and Charlie in the midfield three and Martin and Warney up front. A very, very strong starting eleven. So let's see who's on the bench. Today we also have myself. I'm back from injury, which is good to see. We also have Aidan Palmer, Treadmill, Ryan Dale and then Mikel Garcia as well. A very strong bench and a very strong team in general. So this should be a good opportunity to get our first three points of the season. Listen about today's we're straight into the action as we have Northern Celtic playing in the blue today, Margaret Catchball playing in the red. Um, same pitch at the beautiful Gainsborough again today, but um, a little less dusty and a bit more muddy today. So here we have Margaret Catchball on the attack. Number 10 on the ball, plays it through to number 11, but intercepted by Connor, but he managed to skip his way past him as he tries to cut it into the box, but is then cleared away by Northern. Only as far as number three in the left back position who whips it across the box met by Callum Wadey as Beattie plays it back to Paul Moss who clears the ball but only as far as Martin who tries to get a flick on but met by number three and it's gone straight back into the air to Paul Moss and cleared away by Charlie and in the end of that move nothing came of it so some good defending there from Northam so here we have Margaret Catchpot on the ball again here from the left back position as he tries to take it past Aaron Jennings as Aaron Jennings slides in, doesn't quite make the tackle there. But as the ball goes through, it is picked up by Kieran Beattie as he attempts to play it back out to Aaron. Intercepted once again by their defender. Plays it out to their number 10, but made in the tackle by Connor and just intercepted by Kieran Beattie again, mopping things up as Celtic then go to play the ball out from the back. Playing some really lovely passing football again today. Um, there was a lot of in-between-the-pitch moments today, but here with a ball from Kelvin, what an exquisite ball to Martin, as he plays the ball through to Callum Wadey, who tries to turn his player on the far-hand side, but just goes out for another goal kick. Some good, A good start from the boys here at Celtic. Good ball. So here we have a throw-in from Margaret Catchpot on the far-hand side of the pitch, which is met up in the air by Callum Wadey, as Kev tries to intercept it, but beaten to the ball by their number 11. As he attempts to play the ball across, there is a bit of scrappiness going on on the far-hand side, but the ball is played to Charlie Turner, who plays the ball through to Martin Chalmers. And there we have it. 1-0 up in our first league game of the season with his first goal, Martin Chalmers. And this was Ryan's reaction to it, as we love to see that from the from the bench. But um, it, another fantastic start. Couldn't ask any more. That goal took us four minutes of gameplay to get. So it's a really solid start as we have another kickoff. And unfortunately here, due to a hamstring injury, um, Aaron Jennings has have to come off as we bring on Ryan Dale to fill in at that right wing back position. It's a shame to see him go out so early as there were some promising starts from him there. But um, let's hopefully see if Ryan can do a great job in there as well. So here we have a free kick on the edge of the box. As we know from the previous video, we know Kelvin can hit them. Let's see if he can score from the same position as he did in the last video. Straight into the wall. Unfortunate there from Kelvin as it was cleared straight away back to Paul Moss as he whips the ball back in. Another bit of Sunday scrapping as Alex Warren hits it. Oh, just scuffed it at the far post there. Had an opportunity to put 2 0 up, but didn't quite get there. As Margaret Catch will have the ball again, but it's met into the middle by Charlie as he plays it inside to Kev. Kev does one of his turns into Kelvin on the far hand side as he drives forward into the box, hits the shot just past the top corner, very, very close. We're getting closer to that second goal to give us that all important lead further ahead. So here we have. Margaret Catchpole with another throw in on the far hand side as they throw it into the box it is met in the air by Charlie as they attempt to play it through on the far right hand side it is slipped through and met through to another Margaret Catchpole player but Charlie is there to make a tackle which is then blown up for a free kick but nothing came of that free kick in the end as Beatty meets the ball in the middle again there Kev loses possession again to the number 11 but Beatty regains it Spots a slide through pass to Alex Warren, 
just couldn't get there as the keeper gets there, winning us another corner in this game. Corner ends up coming with nothing. We had a lot of corners that didn't come to anything, but one ball over the top from Jordan in goal as Alex finds it through. Just wide at the post again. We are knocking on the door once again. Let's see if we can get this all-important second goal. Here we have Beatty meets the ball. And hello, over the top of him. See you later, mate, as he takes it on and plays a beautiful ball through to Martin as he holds the ball up and hits the shot. Another great save from this goalkeeper. So here we have, again, Margaret Catchpole on the ball, but played out wide to the far right-hand side. As more of them are back in position, closing down appropriately and giving them a good run for their money. As they take it outside, Connor slides in and that is given as a handball. And Connor's obviously said something to the referee here for him to call him over, which is um, unfortunately going to result in him getting a yellow card. But so far, so good from Northam. On the um, front foot, we're looking good and we're defending well too. So let's hope we can make something of this game and make sure we get a solid performance and get these three points. But as you can see now, it is appearing as the referee calls Connor over, filling in his book, and that is a yellow card for Connor Clark. So here we have the free kick on the far hand side as it's whipped in, headed across and picked out of the air by Jordan. What an outstanding save and he's been amazing for us this season so far. What a keeper he is. And here we have Jordan punts one ball up in the air. Kelvin flicks it on as their centre back passes it backwards over the top. It's a better ball in the air as Martin meets onto it. Hits the shot, hits the keeper and he's put it in the back of the net as he's run round him. 2-0 up. Two goals for Martin on the day. Fantastic performance from the boys. And we haven't deserved anything less from this. It's been a fantastic show so far. And here's the kickoff again. And unfortunately, that was the last action of the half, leading to half-time. 2-0 up. Um, it was a very in-the-middle match. We took our chances. They didn't at the end of the day. And resulting in 50-50% possession. They had a lot of attacks, which we defended well in the end. So credit to our defenders. But we also need to make sure that we take our chances and move forward in this game and see if we can get the win. We have the second half starting as we're now shooting the opposite direction. And we are now having a corner straight away from, from, the, from the off going here as Kelvin plays it out to Ryan as a short corner technique. Kelvin then drills it across the box. Charlie puts it right in the top corner. A fantastic start to the second half. Couldn't ask for anything more, and that puts us 3 0 up against Margaret Catchpole. A really, really solid performance so far. We need to make sure we keep this going. Credit to the boys again, they're playing so, so well. And here's another kickoff. So here we have a Margaret Catchpole free kick on the edge of the box. I think this was a result of one of Paul Moss's many slide tackles over the game today. And here they hit the shot. Back stick. Jordan's dug us out of the game again there. What a great save from him once again. Leading to a corner. But in the end, nothing came from that corner. And we have a substitution here. And myself, I'm coming on for Alex Warren. Um, coming straight up front, which is interesting. Not my chosen position, but it was great fun up there. Since I take the ball through. Patrick ball is then cleared out as Martin hits the shot and luckily goes past the post. Here we go, we've got a throw in again off the top of my head as it's played over the top to Martin running off of me. As me and Ryan make our way towards the box, Martin is charging down the left hand side. He then is stuck up in the corner as you can't see out of the shot but drives inside. I've got myself in the box as it's cut in. The ball hits me in the knees off of the defender and straight into the keeper's hands. Not a lot I could do about that one there. As the ball is then cleared up again, here we go. We have another substitution here again. We have a double one, I believe. We've got Aidan Palmer and Treadmill coming on for Kevin John and Martin Chalmers. Two solid performances from two great players at the club. Um, two goals from Martin, can't ask for anything more. And Kev doing that solid job that he always does in the middle of the pitch. So let's see if the two players that are coming on can fill their boots and put a job in for the team. So, here we go again with Northam looking like we're in possession on the far-hand side. 
as the ball is out of shot but plays into Charlie. A nice one-two with Kelvin as Kelvin drills it into the middle of the pitch. I just about make the 50-50 tackle there as I hit the shot. Just tipped past the post by their keeper. I wasn't expecting to really make even a challenge there for the keeper but um, ended up nearly being a goal as Mossy throws the ball over the top. Kelvin knocks it on. I'm on the receiving end of that ball as I run down the left-hand side of the pitch looking to cross it in but Treadmill wasn't quite in the box for when I wanted it, but winning us a corner. But nothing again coming from that corner. As Margaret Catchball have the ball on the far hand side as they whip it in. Not quite met by Jordan as their striker heads the ball in to make it 3 1. Unfortunately, we will not be getting that illustrious clean sheet today, but hopefully that will come very soon. We really deserved it, it was just an unfortunate moment in the game. But we keep moving forward as we play the ball about from kickoff, knocked over the top by Beattie. So here we have a ball in the inside there. We have Mikhail. Oh, one nutmeg. Not only one, but two. And as he tries to nutmeg him again, loses the ball. But oh, what a magician he is. He's come on just to, just to annoy the opposition. Get a couple of nutmegs in. What a man. As I've now got the ball on the left-hand side. Drill down wide. Tried to play a ball over the top, but it wasn't good enough. And here we have the ball with Margaret Catchwell again, battling in the middle with Connor. As the ball then comes out to this left-hand side again to myself. As we drive down the left-hand side of the pitch, looking up for an option there. Cut back, probably should have used Charlie there, but ended up trying to shield the ball, which is probably the wrong decision. But coming back from injury, I wanted to try and make sure I could get me touches in, managing to win us a throw-in. Throw-in here that I will take as I can see Charlie in a gap on the far-hand side. As I throw it over the top of the defender, as he's through on goal there, but clatters the goalkeeper and that ends the game. Possession didn't really change again, but we've won the game. First three points of the season. That is outstanding from the lads. Fantastic performance. And here we go. Here are the goal stats for this season so far. Um, I've cleaned the sl slate from pre-season. So these are the all official goals from the Cup and the league. Um, Martin and Kelvin on two. And then Kelvin with top assists as well. So he's doing having a great start to the season. But goals are coming from everywhere in the team, which is really good to see. So let's hope it continues into the next game next weekend also be nice to put a table in at the end of the video so people who are watching can understand what that has an effect in the season as you can see our first game for us so we are in fourth which is always good to see but there are a couple of teams that have a few games in hand of us taverners reserves up at the top and we've got phoenix next week in the cup again the second round of the cup so hopefully we should be bringing you some footage there but a good start to the season couldn't ask for anything more so let's hope it continues we've actually got phoenix two weeks in a row in the second round of the cup and then in the league again so let's hope to get two wins in the next couple of fixtures so thank you again for watching and um, it's nice to be back after being able to record again and send out the footage so hopefully we'll continue to bring you weekly footage of the games um, thank you for watching and i shall see you again next week